Unit 1. The School Picnic. Reading. Listen. Read. Say. The school picnic is tomorrow. Tinky checks the weather on the internet. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It'll be warm and dry. We should put on our shorts and sunglasses. Tom and Tinky get ready. Then it's time to go. Hurry up, Tinky. We'll be late. Everyone's at the park. Anne and Ben are playing with a soccer ball. Mike is helping with the food. Tom and Tinky are talking to Sue and Kelly. Did you bring your umbrellas? We don't need umbrellas. It'll be sunny today. Yes, but it'll be foggy and rainy later. Oh no! It's raining! Kelly was right. It's foggy too, and it's hard to see. This isn't fun at all. Sue and Kelly use their umbrellas to help Tom and Tinky. Tom, why are you all wet? You read my note, didn't you? Huh? Hi, Tom. It's going to rain this afternoon. You should take an umbrella and a raincoat to the school picnic, Mom. That's strange. I checked the weather. Tinky, you looked at yesterday's weather. Now listen and say the words. Warm. Dry. Foggy. Snow. Dialogue. Listen. Read. Say. Should I wear my shorts? No, you shouldn't. It might get cold later. Should I bring my jacket? Yes, you should. That's a good idea. Practice two. Listen, read, say. One. Bring umbrella. Might rain later. We have our school picnic today. Should I bring my umbrella? Yes, you should. It might rain later. Two. Wear jeans. Will be hot later. We're going to Grandma and Grandpa's house. Should I wear my jeans? No, you shouldn't. It'll be hot later. Okay, I'll wear my shorts. That's a good idea. Three. Bring scarf. Might snow later. Get ready. We're going to meet Bill and his dad at the park. Should I bring my scarf? Yes, you should. It might snow later. Okay, I'll bring my hat too. Four. Wear uniform. Have PE this morning. Hurry up, it's time to go. Should I wear my uniform? I can't find it. No, you shouldn't. You have PE this morning. Oops, I forgot. Practice three. Match. Listen. One. Jenny, this afternoon we're going to go to the park. What will the weather be like? It'll be foggy and rainy. Should I wear my rain boots? Yes, you should. You should take your umbrella too. Okay. Two. I think the weather will be cold this weekend. Yes, it will. It'll snow. Cool. We should make a snowman. Don't forget to wear a scarf. Three. Will the weather be warm today? Yes, it will. It'll be dry and cloudy.
Do I need to take a sweater? No, you don't. You should wear your shorts. Four. We're going to go to the lake. It'll be hot and sunny. Great! You should bring a hat. Okay, I'll bring my sunglasses too. Letters and sounds. Listen. Say. Dr. Dress. Dr. Dry. Dr. Drink. Dr. Drive. Dr. Drip. Listen. Say. A drop of water from my drink dripped on my dry dress. Oh, what a mess! Unit two. Team games. Reading. Listen. Read. Say. The children are looking at the school magazine. What is it about? Oh, it's about an interesting day at school. Let's read it. Our school fun day, the sack race. What fun! The blue team was the fastest. The red team was second. The purple team was slower than the red team. We talked to Ben. The girl with brown hair was much faster than me. Tug of war. Both teams pulled very hard. The blue team was stronger than the red team. The red team was very strong. It wasn't easy. Our team was weaker than the blue team. We tried our best. The egg and spoon race. The purple team was faster. But they were careless. The green team was more careful, so they won. It was a fun day. The children are talking about it. Your team was the strongest. You did a great job. Thanks. The boy with the green shirt was much slower than me. Now listen and say the words. Strong, weak, careful, careless. Dialogue. Listen, read, say. Do you know any of those kids? Yes, the boy with the gold belt is my friend. The girl with the striped gloves is in class five A. Practice two. Listen, read, say. One. Girl, purple ring, friend. Wow, there are lots of people here. Do you know any of those girls? Let me see. Yes, the girl with the purple ring is my friend. Let's go say hello. Two. Girl, spotted coat, sister. It's rainy today. Some girls are in the park. Do you know any of those girls? Yes, the girl with the spotted coat is my sister. She likes to play in the rain. Three. Man, silver sunglasses, dad. Some dads are helping at the school today. They're at the soccer field. Is your dad here? Yes, the man with the silver sunglasses is my dad. Oh, good! My dad's here too. Four. Woman, thin belt, ant. It's so busy in this restaurant. Yeah, you have a big family. Is she your aunt? No. The woman with the thin belt is my aunt. Five. Boy, striped cap, classmate. 
Are those boys from your class? Yes. The boy with the striped cap is my classmate. They're very good at swimming. Six. Man. Gray gloves. Teacher. Is your teacher here? We'd like to say hello. Yes. The man with the gray gloves is my teacher. Great. Let's go and talk to him. Practice three. Listen. Match. One. Are those your friends, Mary? Yes. That girl is my best friend. Who? The girl with the silver belt is my best friend. Oh, the silver belt. I see her. Let's say hello. Two. Do you know any of those kids, Dan? I know the one with the spotted shorts. Is she on your swimming team? No, she's my classmate. We're both in Mr. White's class. Look, she's waving to you. Three. Hi, Emma. Is that your cousin over there? Which one? I can't see well from here. The boy with the gold sunglasses. Oh, yes, it is. He's always wearing strange things. I think he looks cool. Four. Look, Mom, there's my friend. Where, Robert? Is he wearing a green t shirt? No, that's his brother. The boy with the striped cap is my friend. Oh, let's say hello. Letters and sounds. Listen. Say. Est. Slowest. Est. Strongest. Est. Fastest. Est. Best. Rhyme. Write. Listen. Say. The turtle was the fastest in all the race. The hare was the slowest in second place. The turtle was the best, gold for first place. The hare was the strongest and now has a sad face. Practice three. Listen. Number one. Maria is the girl with a red cap and red shorts. Two. Paul is the boy with a black jacket and white shirt. Three. Mike is the boy with green shorts and green shirt. Four. Christina is the girl with a white jacket and green scarf. Just for fun, one. Sciences. Materials and fabrics. Cotton. Cotton is a plant. Big machines change the cotton into thread. Most clothing has cotton thread in it. Cotton clothes are comfortable and help you keep cool in hot weather. Bamboo. Bamboo fibers are strong and smooth. People use bamboo to make baskets and other strong objects. But recently, people have made clothes with bamboo too. They make the bamboo into yarn and then use it for scarves, shirts, or socks. Silk. Silk comes from China. It is a natural fiber. It comes from silkworms' cocoons. People farm silkworms to produce silk clothes. Dresses and scarves are often in silk.
You can wear silk clothes to look elegant. Wool. Wool comes from sheep. People shave the wool from the sheep and then spin it into yarn. You can dye the yarn into different colors. Woolly clothes are great for cold weather. They keep you warm. Unit 3 An Adventure Reading Listen Read Say <laughs> One afternoon, Ben and Sue were playing in the garden when a storm began. Sue ran home, but Ben went the wrong way. It was foggy, and he couldn't see well. Hurry up, Ben! You'll get lost! Ben walked over a bridge, over the hills, and far away. Sue, where are you? He was still walking when it got dark. He found a cave to sleep in. I'm not afraid of the dark. He was sitting down when he saw two big yellow eyes. It was a dragon. Suddenly, fire came from its mouth. I'm not afraid of the dark, but I am afraid of dragons! Ben ran fast, but the dragon was faster. It picked Ben up. Help! The dragon flew high into the air and over a big desert. When they were flying, Ben was brave. He wasn't afraid at all. This is cool! In the morning, the dragon landed in a strange garden. Where are we? The dragon pointed at a castle. I'm home! Thanks! When Ben walked into the castle, all the princesses cheered. Hooray! It's Prince Ben! I was so worried! The End Now listen and say the words. Castle Cave Desert Fire Hill Storm Dialogue. Listen, read, say. What were you doing when the storm began? I was walking in the park. Who were you walking with? I was walking with Jake. Practice two. Write, read, say. One. Boating. By myself. A. What were you doing when the rain began? I was boating. B. Who were you boating with? I was boating by myself. 2. Camping. My cousin. A. What were you doing when it got dark? I was camping. B. Who were you camping with? I was camping with my cousin. Practice 3. Listen. Write. 1. There was a big storm yesterday. I know. What were you doing when the storm began, Emma? I was playing in a cave. It was scary. That does sound scary. Who were you playing with? I was playing with my brother.
Two. Did you go camping last weekend, David? Yes, I did. There was a fire. What were you doing when the fire started, David? I was walking in the desert. I saw it, though. Were you walking with Tom? No, I wasn't. I was walking with my dog. Three. It rained a lot yesterday. What were you doing when the rain began, Sarah? I was camping in the hills. It was terrible. Who were you camping with? I was camping with my family. We all got wet. Four. We went home when it got dark. I didn't see you. What were you doing when it got dark, Harry? I was climbing a tree near the castle. Cool. Were you climbing by yourself? No, I was climbing with my brother. Song. Listen. Sing. A frog went walking on a summer's day. A hum, a hum. A frog went walking on a summer's day. He met Miss Mousy on the way. A hum, a hum, a hum, a hum, a hum. He said, Miss Mousy, will you dine with me? A hum, a hum. He said, Miss Mousy, will you dine with me? We'll eat our supper in an apple tree. A hum, a hum, a hum, a hum, a hum. And what do you think they had for supper? A hum, a hum. And what do you think they had for supper? Fried mosquitoes with bread and butter. A hum, a hum, a hum, a hum, a hum. Letters and sounds. Listen. Say. W whale. W whisper. W whistle. H who. H whose. H whole. Rhyme. Listen. Say. When I was under the sea, a whale whispered to me, "Who are you? How do you do? It's a whole lot of fun out at sea." Unit Four. Winter vacation. Reading. Listen. Read. Say. Anne is on vacation. She sent an email to Kelly. Kelly's reading it. Tuesday, December eighteenth. Hi, Kelly. We're in the U.S. now for winter vacation. I'm at my cousin's house. It's seven thirty a.m. and it's cold and snowy here. This morning, I'll make a snowman. Later, we will go skating. If it's cold again tomorrow, we'll go skiing. Love, Anne. Wow, Anne sure is having fun in the snow. <laughs> 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 What a great vacation! Now it's time to come home. Anne sent Kelly another email from the airport. Friday, December twenty eighth. Hi, Kelly. Last Tuesday, my cousin and I made a snowman. We didn't go skating, but we went skiing. We're going to fly home soon. Is there snow? If there's snow, we'll throw snowballs. We can make a snowman too. I can teach you. Maybe we can go sledding too. It's lots of fun. See you soon, Anne. 
I think Kelly and Anne are going to have lots of fun. Now listen and say the words. Go skating. Go skiing. Go sledding. Throw snowballs. Make a snowman. Dialogue. Listen. Read. Say. We're in the mountains. The snow looks beautiful. You're lucky. I'm at home. I'll see you when you get back. Practice two. Write, listen, say. One. A. Look, looks, gift, pretty. The gift looks pretty. B. Gifts, cute. The gifts look cute. Two, a, sound, sounds, singer, great. The singer sounds great. B, singers, funny. The singers sound funny. Three, a, taste, tastes. Cookie, horrible. The cookie tastes horrible. B. Cookies, good. The cookies taste good. Four. A. Smell, smells. Flower, nice. The flower smells nice. B. Flowers, okay. The flowers smell okay. Practice three. Listen, circle. One. Merry Christmas, Grandma. Merry Christmas, Katie. Wow! Did you make those Christmas cookies? Yes, I did. Take one. Thanks, Grandma. They look delicious. Two. Can you hear the bells? Ah,、uh, no. I can only hear Dad singing. Try again. They're louder now. Wait. Oh yes, I can hear them. They sound nice. Three. It smells like Christmas. I got the Christmas tree this morning. It's in the living room. It smells really good. When can we decorate it? We can decorate it when your sister gets home. Four. How's Christmas dinner? It's delicious. It tastes great. Would you like some more? Yes, please. This is the best Christmas dinner ever. Song, listen, sing. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy. Christmas pudding. Now bring us a Christmas pudding and a cup of good cheer. Letters and sounds. Listen. Say. Sk skate. Sk ski. Sk skirt. Sp. Space, sp, 
sports, sp, spotted. Rhyme. Write, listen, say. In space, it's hard to skate or ski. If they're your favorite sports, you have to wear a big spacesuit, not spotted skirts or shorts. Review two. Practice one. Listen. Number. One. Where were you when the rain began? I was in the hills. What were you doing? I was walking, and I forgot to take my umbrella. Oh no! Did you get really wet? Yes, I did. It was terrible. Two. What were you doing when it started snowing? I was sledding in the forest. Cool. Who were you sledding with? I was sledding with my brother. He likes sledding too. Can I come next time? Sure. If it snows again, we'll go on Saturday. Three. What were you doing when the storm started? I was flying a kite. I had to run home. Where were you? Were you at the park? Yes, I got really wet. Four. What were you doing in the evening? I was making a snowman. Nice. Where is it? It's just over there. Look out the window. Just for fun too. Geography. Cities of the world. Number two. Write. Listen. Say. There are lots of wonderful cities. The most famous city in the United States is New York. Mexico City is bigger, though. It has twenty point five million people. Rome is in Italy. It's a small city. It has three point nine million people. London is much bigger. It has ten point two million people. Beijing in China has grown a lot over the last decade. It now has a population of twenty-one million. One of the biggest cities in the world is Tokyo. It has thirty-two point five million people.